Okay, so now your job is to write a sine function with the following characteristics, an amplitude of 2, a period of pi over 2, and a phase shift of negative pi. Now I've written little uh, shortcuts here to find out how, how to find your uh, values here, given that when they're given to you, because usually the way I've always found is that you're actually given the opposites and you're asked to find these guys, but instead you've been given them and you want to find out what the equation is or the function. So again, the amplitude is just this um, absolute value of a. So that one can go right into over here and we'll write that down later. And There's a general formula right here. I should go over that too. Again, this is what it would normally look like. A would be how you find your amplitude. These two guys right here, your b and c, will be important for finding your period and phase shift. And including a d over here which would be how you would raise a graph and I have a little uh, visual aid for this one to help explain this one a little bit better so were this not here right here this would just normally look would look like a normal sign so it would start going through over here reaching its highest point going down reaching its lowest point and going up like this but if there was anything besides a at zero here, and it's not implicitly written or ex explicitly stated, I should say. But here, because there's nothing there, this would stay right here. But if there was something there, it would go up or down depending on what that number was. If it was negative, it would go down. Positive, it would go up. But because that there's nothing there, don't even worry about that. So, our equation is going to look something like this: an a right here, a b right here, and a plus or minus the c over here. So we establish that the absolute value of 2 is just 2 so that's where that one would go right there the period is just the, uh, you, the period that you start with So and because this one is sine right there the original period for sine is 2 pi and you would divide that by the b value right here which we haven't found just yet so that's what we need to do but we've been given that the period is pi over 2 so I set 2 pi over b is equal to 2, um, excuse me, pi over 2, and then just solved from there. Multiplied both sides, or excuse me, I cross multiplied in this case, pi b is equal to 4 pi, divided by pi, and b is equal to 4, in that case, your pi's just cancel out there. So now, at this point, I can write that y is equal to 2 sine of uh, times the quantity 4x minus c, and we don't know what c is just yet, now the phase shift is just the c value over b is equal to whatever your phase shift was that was given to you and in this case that was negative pi. So c over b is equal to negative pi. Now we've already found what our b value was in the previous step right there so we can write that in c over 4 is equal to negative pi. Multiply that side by 4 and then that side by 4 and you're left with c is equal to negative 4 pi. So just plug that value in for c right here into this little uh, function y is equal to 2 sine of 4x minus negative 4 pi and when you uh, subtract by a negative that's really just like adding so your final formula right or excuse me not formula but your answer is y is equal to 2 sine 4x plus 4 pi